Hello everyone. Uh, in today's lecture we are going to discuss uh, the important issue that's a transfer function of the linear system. Transfer function of the linear system. Usually, we consider that transfer function is given as a g of s in the complex Variable, variable as representation. In other words, if we start with our modeling efforts in uh, state space a x plus b u y equal c x by applying Laplace transform and assuming initial conditions of this state space is equal to zero we will obtain that y of s is c s identity matrix minus A inverse B U of S. The expression CSI minus A inverse multiplies B is G of S or transfer function. What are the main features of the transfer function? First, transfer function must be proper proper or strictly proper And second, transfer function is unique. Okay, let us demonstrate and explain what the first thing proper or strictly proper means. Transfer function given as a G of S is nothing but expression in a CISO system, single input, single output system. It's expression that contains two polynomials, one enumerator, another in denominator. In other words, if we open these polynomials, we will have that P of S is S of N plus A of N minus 1 s n minus 1 plus plus a 1 s plus a 0 while numerator polynomial is s m plus b m minus 1 s m minus 1 plus plus b1 s plus b0 and strictly proper just implies that 
n has to be greater or equal n. If n is greater than n, it's a strictly proper. If n is equal n, it's just proper. Okay, this is very important because once we have this transfer function, we can always go back to the state space. What is n? n in this case is order of characteristic polynomial of matrix A. Characteristic polynomial of matrix A. Okay, so this is very important notion. Transfer function is unique. We can easily demonstrate that. If we assume that our state space is a a of x plus b u y equal c of x, let us introduce state transformation x equal t z. If we introduce this, this is just a t invertible matrix. Your favorite invertible matrix t. Okay, so we have that upon substitution t z dot equal a t z plus b u and y equal c t z. Okay, we multiply upper equation by t in inverse from the left and we obtain a z dot equal t minus 1 a t z plus t minus 1 b u and y c t z. Okay, we obtain the new system where expression this one, this one, and this one are representing the new matrices A hat, which is T minus 1, A of T, T B bar is T minus 1 B and C bar is C T. Okay, and in order to show uniqueness, we have to demonstrate that the transfer function of initial state space, so what is the transfer function of this state space? The transfer function of this state space is just G of S equal C S I minus A minus 1 B. Okay, and what is the transfer function of this expression? This is G of S, C hat S I minus A hat minus 1 B hat. Okay, and let us demonstrate that. So I'm just going to rewrite 
g x and that's uh, this one as follows c hat is just going to be c t s i minus t minus 1 a of t minus 1 t minus 1 b okay if we have that this expression becomes c t I'm factoring t minus 1 out of this expression because this is just identity so I'm saying s is a scalar so I'm saying this has to be t minus 1 multiplies s t because t minus 1 multiplies t is going to give me identity minus a of t minus 1 t minus 1 b ct equal we use the following rule that a b minus 1 is nothing but b minus 1 a minus 1 such that when we apply this formula we obtain s t minus a of t minus 1 multiplies t minus 1 and then all of that again on minus 1 so this is t minus 1 this expression inverse of inverse inverse is just t such that t multiplies t minus 1 this entire expression becomes identity and when identity multiplies b it will just be b okay so we have that this becomes c of t I'm factoring now t from the other side s i minus a t okay minus 1 b equal and by applying the same rule c t this become t minus 1 s i minus a minus 1b okay so we see that this is identity and finally we have the c s i minus a minus 1b is equal g of s which implies that g of s bar and g of s are identical transfer function that's why we prove the uniqueness therefore we conclude that input output representation of our system this is y of s this is input output is unique it's unique okay so this is very important that g of s is unique while we see that the transfer function representation is not unique because we can always find some t and transfer 
by t from x into z variable. You can find another t from z into another variable, for example, w, t1. It's important that t, t1 are just invertible transformations. So state space is not unique. Okay, so this is all regarding the transfer function. We will cover the poles and zeros of the transfer function and significance of the poles and zeros in transfer function representation.